quick video of the gardens at Old Fulton House. I haven't exactly done a video over there, but I remember all these lovely flowers here and the wall look. Bristol Channel overlooking Kilv and the Quantox. They've got like a Buddha statue in the middle of a groomed area. And a teepee there. That's a weird looking thing, isn't it? Oh, they've got a little pond. Yeah, well, at least somebody's doing something, I suppose. There's a little chapel on the end there. I think they're all having lunch in the main building at the moment. It's handy, isn't it? There we go, a little Buddha look. Part of my project on this place. Wonder what Wordsworth would make of it. The um, fig tree is still here. And this was what was the chapel. Still the old chapel at Yeah, it looks like people are camping out here. It's the very early stages, I suppose, of the renovation or whatever they're doing. It don't look at all changed at the moment, but I couldn't get around the front. There were people having their lunch or sat around their tent. But, same ceiling up. Same ceiling. Yes, rough, roughly it's the same really. Yeah, roughly the same. <sighs> Got to start somewhere I suppose, don't you? There's the back of the house. Stairs are still there that I climbed up years ago. I climbed up onto the top of there about ten years ago now. Me and Zora have been in there. Yeah, I didn't go around the front because, to be quite honest, I didn't want to intrude. There was quite a few blokes there. Sat under like gazebos having their lunch or something. So I thought, no, I only want to get a general idea today. I haven't got the time really to engage in a proper conversation or anything. They're obviously stopping people from going in there. So I was lucky being able to keep a, a log of the development. At the moment, it still looks as ruinous as it ever did but they've been doing up this barn bit on the end and this little building here I'm building one of those natural fences around look they're obviously building up a fence yeah that big tree looks like a person doesn't it Yeah, so I'm glad I got in. There's people coming now. So I've just managed to get on my way. Just managed to get on my way. People going back over there. That was lucky, wasn't it? Very lucky. Yeah, they've just gone across into the back there. Oh, he's just managed. That's like a matter of five minutes, less than five minutes I come out. Someone coming down. Obviously going into the gardens. Yeah. 
Well, it looks like they're trying with the gardens anyway. Yeah, it'd be nice to see something happen to it at the moment. I wouldn't say anything's happened to it really, apart from the barn area. So another visit will be required. As I go upwards now, another hill, I'm afraid folks. Another hill. Right, gonna turn off, take some pictures from here. That's the back of the barn in Wordsworth's old home that you lived for a couple of years. I think I was very fortunate that I managed to get in, get a picture of the statue. They probably would have let me anyway, but basically I didn't really want to bother people when they're having their lunch. Over and out. You saw rest at a gate. We've left the old fox and house. Um, I've got a feeling I've lost my hat and I'm not going back to look for it. No, I lie, it's in here. All's well. Just gonna have a drink of water. All's well, everyone. Got a bit of a hill to climb now. Well, for the good next hour or so. It's all hill. We do level off at one point before then having to go up again. So, old Fox and House was down there. They were having lunch, so I didn't sort of stop and talk to anyone. Mainly, I haven't got time really. Today, I just wanted to see if they'd done anything. And it looked just as much as a ruin with loads of old caravans everywhere. A bit more like a traveller site than anything else, mate. But there was a nice Buddha statue in the middle of a lawned area. And they did look like they were doing things in the in the walled garden. Um, apart from that, I would say the house looked as tattier as, as ever. If not tattier, because nothing's been done. Unless it's been... Well, it wasn't done at the back of the house. That was exactly the same in the kitchen area. I looked through the window and took some photos. I didn't get round the front because there were people under gazebos eating. Uh, I'm sure they would have been very welcoming, but I would have needed another hour in order to do a discussion and do it properly. I didn't want to just go in high and leave, you know. So, it was just really a brief glimpse could pass as I passed by. That's all I needed at the moment. There was a couple of teepees up. Some old, old caravans, old hippie caravans. And uh, I, I saw mainly men. The ones I saw were all men, I didn't see any women. But if they're Buddhist monks, I suppose they would be men, wouldn't they? <sighs> Fortunately, this part of the walk is mainly under the cover of trees. But it is uphill. I remember it. This will be, and there's another, after I leave here, there'll be another uphill bit, which seems to go on forever. And that is out in the open. So I'm not having, I'm making the most not wearing a hat until I get out in the open. But this, this could take me an hour getting up this long, steady drive of a, of a hill. A place where I've seen deer before now. Out here, up there, over there I have. And all in there, over that way, is old, it's old Foxen Park, it used to be known as. It was a deer park. So hopefully these monks might be good in that they might help protect the deer. 
so that would be a good thing. Right, over and out again. Right, after quite a hike up, loads of these little shelter structures here. Um, after quite a big hike up, I've reached the main big guardian tree. Uh, one over there seems to have lost its top. This is a big guardian tree here, look at him. Huge roots. He's a guardian of the wood. He guards who comes and who goes. Don't you? You've seen me before. Yeah, tall trees standing. You know, one of the lots of your other big ones have gone now, haven't they? Fallen in the storm. Beautiful tree though, aren't you darling? Look at you, full of life. You've got something living in you, you've got residence. I've just got to check the time, but we might have to go back the, a part of the way back. It's not all of it, because if I start doing Weakham, I think I could worry about getting back. That's the only thing. And here we come to the fire beaters on, attached to a pole there. See? That's the fire beaters. Alright, so little section of the wood done. Now we've got to make our way back. It's just a, it isn't a brief visit. I've done quite a big circular, but it's been a, more of a march than I usually do. Just to come and say hi to everybody. Really, just to say hi. I'm still about.